All right, here's another little demo on a life drawing that we did during open drawing session of the art marathon. Yeah, so good. So first off, I did a nice little wash to put into the painting so that I'd have some more of a gray tone to start with. And then I just drew in a simple contour and then the dark shadow shapes, which happened to be a nice vibrant red light on the figure. And um, I would come in and I like to do things kind of directly. There are a couple of other artists that like to do this style of painting where you just take the color from your palette and just slop it onto the canvas. And I did that with the yellow ochre, Naples yellow, lead white, and then some of those darker values that I put in there are a um, transparent yellow oxide or transparent earth oxide, just depending upon who you actually get the paint from. Um, anyways, go in with big, simple shapes and try to get the general values and placement of each of those colors. I don't try to refine too much. I just want to simply put some of those values in there. I'm, I'm dividing the light shapes from the shadow shapes because I feel that it's important to kind of keep those clean. I don't want to mix the shadow values with the light values because that's when it starts to turn all cucky and muddy. So I keep those separate for as long as possible. Um, I will use lots of different brushes too. In this one, I start off with a bristle brush and then I went in with a fan brush just to kind of lightly tap in some of those colors, especially the transitions from the red and the mid tones to the lights. And I use the edge of it to refine as much as I possibly can. I, again, keep the shapes as simple as I possibly can. I will use plumb lines or vertical lines to be able to determine uh, how everything is spaced out. Like where is the armpit in relationship to the breast or where is the rib cage in relationship to the other side of the rib cage or where's the hand or arm in relationship to the rib cage. And I'll use horizontal lines to be able to figure out those also really helps to be able to see angles correctly. If you use kind of like an imaginary grid system in your mind to simplify those forms out. So by this time, I've gotten it down to a good, simple shape. The division of the lights versus the shadows. You can see a little bit ago, I used, um, it was vermilion red in there, just like straight vermilion red for those reflected lights. And then perylene red was placed in that core along with transparent oxide red and transparent oxide yellow. Um, I will come back in and refine some of those values like here in the knees. I just, they need to be worked out a little bit more. And also the knee was a little bit too thick. I narrowed that by painting in the shadow shapes or the cast shadow, whatever it is. Um, anyways, and then I know that this is crunch time. I only have about 10 minutes left and I haven't put any feet in and... <laughs> I haven't finished it off very much. This is about two and a half hours for this painting. So I go in quickly and try to establish some simple shapes for the feet, some of the background values, and then also uh, refine where the transition from the feet to the knee are. Now, this painting is not completely done. I wish I would have finished it in that one sitting, but sometimes that just doesn't happen. So um, I hope you enjoyed this demo and I probably will finish it later either way. Have a stellar day.